Hi everyone. So I am here to do quite a late Friday five. Oh, it's been a day, but still later than I wanted it to be. So as always, Friday five is a video series created by Sarah Crawford. And this week's topic was songs by one artist. Now, I believe I've I know I definitely covered Dido and Florence and the Machine. And I believe maybe of an essence. So I wanted to do something or cover someone a little less well known. Now there is a YouTuber that I watched named Allison Eckfeld. Her channel used to be called Kaz Loves Bats and now it is I believe called the Goblin Queen. But anyways, she has her own band called Esoteric. And basically what esoteric is, if I'm describing it correctly, because I'm not a person who really cares about genre specifically. I just kind of listen to what I think sounds good and music I think has good storytelling and lyrics and etc. But from what I know, it is described as like um, synth pop, and like dark wave so it's very what people would call gothically like inclined music and um she is goth alternative whatever you want to call it herself so that makes sense so at number five i have a song called soft fascination now this one definitely sounds like a goth club kind of song that might be played it's definitely got that you know cyber um electronic beat to it a very cool song there are times that it feels at certain points in the song that it could go for some weird um rock opera play kind of thing, something like Repo or Rocky Horror, that kind of thing. If you listen to it, you'll know what I mean. Number four is Purgatory. Now this, I think, is the first song that they put out and the first song that I heard. It's definitely got that slightly old school goth feel to it, but obviously still modern. She looks awesome in the video. I wouldn't say it's their best song, obviously I have it at number four, but it still is a very enjoyable song. The next one is Necro Dancer, which I think is on their second album. This one is just fun, I mean it's Necro Dancer, it's got that gothy rock pop, you know, I wouldn't call it dark wave, it's not that, but when you listen to it, it's definitely got that slightly stereotypical gothic feel but it's fun and like fun spooky kind of stuff the next one is dearly departed and the reason i love this one is it, it just kind of sounds poetic to me it's just got a feel of passion to it and i really would want to hear that recited just as a poem maybe and then at number one is the newest one that i've heard and i think the newest one that they've put up because I think it's the latest one. It's called Cup of Life. The video is fantastic. I really think her voice is getting better. Um, it's, it sounds a little different in this one. It sounds a little bit more lighter, but still very much like her. And the problem I have with it is like uh, in the chorus part, it gets kind of hard to understand. I think there's a little too much, you know, instrumentals and stuff that are going over her voice but besides that I think the song is just great like I said her voice sounds fantastic it's a fun listen it's a little different and the video is absolutely beautiful now this isn't a band that you're gonna go and just find at Walmart unfortunately unfortunately right now I'm just listening to them on YouTube I really hope eventually to own their albums because you know, they are an independent band, basically, and these are people who are doing their own thing, 
you know, not following trends or this and that. They're just doing what they want to do, writing their own songs, and, you know, I think they're doing an excellent job for that. Anyways, that is my Friday Five. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.